Happy Seniors Week. My name is Andrea Levicki and I'm a local shared park artist and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make this painting. You'll just need a couple supplies, um, a white paintbrush, dark blue paint, white paint and black paint. Okay, let's get started. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take a scoop of your blue paint and you're going to add it to your canvas. As you can see, I've already done that. And you're going to paint horizontally. So to help the whole painting of this one, you always paint horizontally because you want those waves, the waves to look straight. Okay, I'm going to add a scoop of white just to lighten it up. And you see how that white breaks it up? Now you can add in as little or as much as you want to get that desired look that you like. Now the trick is just to keep on going. Well, step back, take a look. Okay, I want more of this. I want shorter waves. You can paint like that. Add in the blue. As you can see. This painting is very forgiving. You can go back. Oh, I want a little more here or up here. Something there, you know, like you don't have to And so what we're going to do is we're going to keep on adding the white and the blue and we're going to coat the whole entire canvas with this. Now painting is supposed to be fun and relaxing so don't stress about it. It doesn't have to be perfect because when you think about it, water is not perfect. So just keep on going. The most important thing is, is actually just to get that canvas covered. And paint it over and over again. Okay. So once your canvas is completely covered and you like the desired look of the water, you're like, okay, yeah, I like it. We're going to let it sit and dry for about you know, 10 minutes or until the paint is dry, and then we're going to work on our next part. Okay, so our painting is dry. So now we're going to work on our black silhouettes. The thing about black silhouettes is that you can do whatever you would want. You can do a lighthouse, cocktails, you can do a dolphin, you can do palm trees, anything that you think that would go on the water. So you're not like, you can do whatever you'd like. But today I'm going to do the little island and the cocktails. So when I look at the canvas, it's all dry, you have to kind of plan out where you want it. So my island, my land's going to go right here, my lighthouse here, and then my little island right there. So you have to think about it before you actually start. So I have my black paint, my little brush, and I'm like, okay, I want my land right here. So I'm just gonna quickly draw out my land. And then I'm gonna sit and I'm gonna paint it in. And the thing about black paint is that you do wanna make sure you get a few coats put on. So just take your time with this. Oh, see, I missed that piece of the canvas. And remember, it's land, so it doesn't. You don't want it straight. You don't want it um, organized. You want to make sure it looks like bumps and stuff. Okay, so that's done. So while that's drying, I'm gonna quickly do in my cocktails. So they're in a bunch. Okay. So you kind of want one, I'm just painting on a few and I'll come in after and I'll finish them. And you know, some of them just have grasses. And you know, you can work with any size of brush, like if, if this one's too wide, work with a smaller one. Whatever you'd like. And then, you know, they're cocktails, so you want them a little wider at the top of the little point. When you're doing your painting, you're going to be taking your time, so you can definitely add in a lot more details. And, you know, 
And then I'm like, okay, I want my little island up here because I want it to have depth. So I'm going to paint that in there. The thing is, you do want them to be straight on the bottom when you're working from that. So you add that in. With black silhouettes, you always want to start small and then you can go bigger. Okay, and then we see the lighthouse. We're going to add that in. So you want the land. And the thing about shapes like that, so if like you're nervous about painting a lighthouse, all you have to remember, okay, it's a rectangle. And then like it's the triangle up top, the rectangle here, and it goes in. So if you break it down into kind of shapes, like a wider rectangle, and then a little rectangle here, and then a triangle up top, you'll be okay. So as you can see, there's the final painting. You have the cocktails, the land, the island with the lighthouse, and then it's done. See, two easy steps. Just take your time, break down the shapes, and just have fun with it. Thank you for joining me.